what I learned in engineering school is. What I learned in engineering school is. If you are flying down a hill on a skateboard, going Mach 8, and decide to step off of that skateboard, Newton's first law of motion does indeed still apply. And you too will be going Mach 8 down that hill. Eight years ago, I absolutely ate it on a skateboard doing just that. And ever since then, I've been petrified to step on one. But today, I conquer my fear, okay? Ex except I don't, I don't have a skateboard. But you know what I do have? A boatload of plastic. So first, to test the waters, I decided to print a penny board. It fit on my largest 3D printer, and it was a little iffy, but it still held up. Now, I wanted to try to make this thing entirely 3D printed, which meant I had to figure out whether or not 3D printed bearings were feasible. So it turns. It definitely turns. My only concern is I can kind of like almost warp it just by squeezing it. So we can definitely make the walls thicker. And this is the model we came up with for the board. It and its trucks are made of PLA with some TPU rubber pieces here and there. We have solid wheels and we reprinted the bearings now such that they fit into the wheels and they have this little hole for a square axle in the middle. We just tested this out of PLA though, so. Welcome to the bamboo forest. Oh, I'm so happy. If you had shown college Emily with her CR10 in her closet, this like five years later, she would have collapsed and died. He still works too. Bro, throw that away. No! As I started pulling parts of the trucks off of the printers, things started to just kind of go wrong right after another. We should be good. I don't think we mirrored it. Come here, Karen. Today, we're learning about the act of mirroring your parts, because if you don't, you waste a lot of filament. And this is warped too. We keep having to reprint like 50 things. We have a nice exploded view of all the 3D printed parts about to go into the penny board. We're gonna assemble the truck. Got kind of a wiggle to it, which is what we want. An axle, a bearing on the inside, then the wheel, then another bearing. <laughs> now we just put some grease in there. Will this hold my weight? I don't know. For reference, I weigh about between 135 and 140. I am tall but small, if you will. We're gonna end up gluing this piece on the bottom. I, I recognize that these screws are probably not gonna do much structural wise. It's just mainly to center everything. So we're gonna use some glue. Glop. Glue. Oh my gosh. Look, it is so tiny. Oh no, what if this Wait. doesn't work? All right, I'm holding onto the chair. I like how I always like have these ideas. Let's do this thing. And then I do it and I'm petrified of the thing that I just did. Dude, this is gonna break. <laughs> Can I have the camera back? All right, let's see what you broke. You just, <laughs> I, like I can just like, yeah. We printed it long ways with the hopes of it looking nice and pretty, which was stupid because it just did that number. Instead, we need to print it in this orientation. After reprinting the kingpin, I rebuilt the trucks, stood on it again, and it held up just fine. <laughs> Are you that scared? I thought you knew how to skateboard. No, I feel like a crab. Money, 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 money. But just to be safe, I decided to print a brace for the bottom of the board just to make sure it was sturdy. Whoa, okay. That's a lot sturdier. Oh. I feel so much more comfortable on that. I mean, it's not warping at all. It's much better. All right, I think it's time to scale this up a bit because the, the title of this video has skateboard in it and this is a penny board so you can stop raging. We're gonna do it. It's just gonna be a little harder. So I started to print the skateboard. I started printing the biggest middle piece on my large printer and the other two side pieces on my bamboo laps. So we have middle piece, side piece, other side piece. But then on the underside, just for structural integrity, this is where the trucks are gonna go, right? These pieces clip on top here for more structure and then trucks go on top of this. The question is, can this middle part hold my weight? So I used glue to assemble the board since it chemically welds the PLA together, and then I used a soldering iron to weld all the outer seams. Then I used more glue to attach the support panels, and I don't think anyone's gonna be too surprised to see that this did not hold my weight. So I printed a support piece to go along the bottom just like I did with the penny board. 
I did something else too. I wanted to print TPU wheels. These are solid, but they have a little bit more grippiness to it. This is actually looking kind of sick. Oh yeah, dude. This like feels like a skateboard. All right, so now that these are on, in order for me to do some cool tricks, uh, I have to warp the sides because otherwise it's not going to work, apparently. Now it's curved. I don't move that far, do I? What happened to you? Hello, editing Emily here to save you from that trashy explanation I gave while recording. Basically, when we printed the bearing flat, we had supports to break out, and when you remove them, it leaves gaps in between the balls, meaning that they can run all to one side and throw the entire thing off. And the flexibility of the TPU didn't help with this, so we switched back to PLA wheels, but also in addition to that, we came up with a new design for the bearings. It's, it's like magic. It's like we already did it. So we went from using spheres in the bearing to using cylindrical rollers, and the tolerance now is just right on these guys so that when we break them apart none get bunched down towards the one side there's exactly enough needed to fill the entire space and this was absolutely the smoothest we were able to get it whoa so with that it was finally time to put it to the test i have trained super long and hard the past how long two weeks two weeks i'm here with dan and my husband jonathan let's eat some pavement That's my wife. Bro, I gotta take this thing off. No, but but then they're gonna know. My what? scalp is wet. No, Dan. <sighs> Dan. Dan! Come back, Dan! Dan, no! You might be wondering how I came up with such a great design. And that's because I trained my brain with Brilliant. If you've ever wanted to learn more about math, computer science, and other STEM subjects, Brilliant is the best way to learn. Brilliant tailors lessons to your experience levels, whether you know absolutely nothing about a topic or you know a good bit. There are thousands of lessons available. Since I've been out of school for like four years, I've been using Brilliant to brush up on topics that I've forgotten about. <laughs> I haven't forgotten everything. I've forgotten a lot. And I can learn on the go with my phone, PC, or tablet. Lessons hold my two second attention span, so I know you'll enjoy it too. And I actually feel like I'm learning something. So if you're interested in trying out Brilliant, you can go to the link in the description and try it out for free for 30 days. And the first 200 of you to click that link will get 20% off of your annual subscription. So be sure to head on over to brilliant.org slash Engineer, and thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Goodbye.